All right, so I wanted to show a repair that I'm about to do. Um, I have the AxiDraw V3 right here, and I noticed that my uh, servo motor wasn't functioning properly. Uh, in this print over here, you can see uh, the pen wasn't lifting up when it was supposed to be, and it was just kind of dragging. Um, and I just noticed that this, that this motor was no longer working. So uh, luckily there's a pretty easy fix to this. Um, I just ordered this uh, replacement servo motor from uh, the AxiDraw um, Evil Mad Scientists website. And um, if you open this up, you'll see that there's the motor, which is connected to this wire, uh, and then just a few zip ties. And basically what we're gonna do is snip this the ties on this and um, plug this in and, and we should be ready to go again. Okay, so I'm gonna just try getting rid of these zip ties. Uh, I'm just gonna use this Leatherman um, to try to break this. Wanna maybe hold this down so I'm not gonna snap anything. There's probably a better way to do this. <laughs> Let me know what you think, what you would do. But uh, yeah, I was able to just get that, get that off. So there it is. And we'll do that to the other side. Um, now just keep in mind, these wires, these black, red and white wires are gonna be plugged into the motor. Um, or sorry, plugged into this connector right here. Um, which does go to the motor. So you can see that these colors match up on that side. So I got a pretty good grip here. So I think I'm gonna be able to just pull that off. Perfect. And you know, it's a really good idea to just look at all the parts, look how it's um, set up. Kinda of wanna match it, right? This is gonna go here. Um, we'll unplug this. from this side and we're gonna plug that back in once we replace it. It looks like there's uh, two little screws that we're gonna have to undo. So we'll do that next. Okay, so I've got this Phillips head screwdriver. It's a really small screwdriver uh, and I need to get in there and just unscrew this part. Um, actually, let me pull this. I can just pull the arm out a little bit to give me a little bit more room. I think it's, uh, I got it loose now. Oh, this is uh, bad news. I have this table with slats in it. This is probably gonna fall down. <laughs> so I just wanna make sure this, uh, this table surface is covered. Don't lose the screw. Let's get the other side. Okay. So I've got my two screws, my motor. This is the burnt out one. Uh, and we're just gonna reinstall this. Okay, so I've positioned it underneath. And now I can make sure uh, the screws will go in. So we actually wanna make sure that the motor lines up with this end and can move up and down. Screw that in and plug this in. Now the power is connected. And let's start to test. All right, so now that I know that it's working, uh, I'm just gonna fasten these zip ties around these wires and just clean it up. These are really here to keep the wires in place. So, uh, 
just cut the wires, cut the zip ties. All right, so we're back in business.